All right, a bit of fun here. Um, what it's about is the dube coil. And it was something that I made in 2011. I don't think I actually did a video of it. If I put my hand next to it, you can see that uh, you could imagine maybe that's an item for dubious substance smoking. And um, basically the, the uses for it are about the same as a normal coil if you haven't got a lot of wire. And what I've got on the circuit here is an adjustable uh, coil with the ferrite rod. Um, she's coming from one of those circuits from yesterday which is the two pin oscillator driver and at the moment it's on four and a half megahertz. So I'll just do a little demonstration. If I get the tuning just right we should see that light pop on. There we go. And in fact it goes off again if I go too far with the rod. But that's not too bad. And that distance there is approximately eight inches between them or about 20 centimeters. And it's a pretty good little setup and a little coil. If I move it nearer, of course, we should see that brighten up. I've got to redo the tuning again. There we go. And indeed, it will be brighter. There we are. And as I say, about 8 inches or somewhere. Well, I've moved it a little bit further away now. Let's try again. There we are. Still comes on. <laughs> so how do you make one of these things then? Well, you take the width of an A4 sheet of paper. Not the length, just the width. And then you cut up a piece of aluminium foil uh, that's a little bit smaller than the edges and simply roll it up like, well, a cigarette. Uh, a little bit of tape on that when you're finished and then connect up to the outer layer of the aluminium foil. And it is as simple as that and as I say it's a bit like making um, a traditional coil except you're using no wire. And it is quite effective. That's quite a decent output really from right, for right over there. Anyway, I hope that was a bit of fun for you, and uh, happy building, happy rolling, and thanks for watching.